How's it going, Savage Life family? Today I'm going to give a brief explanation because I have been getting lots of questions lately about how to navigate and use the Robinhood platform. A lot of those of my viewers and listeners are new to the Robinhood app. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right into it, give you the breakdown, okay? So before we do, let's go ahead and get right through the intro while I get my phone. Ariana Grande just tweeted me. She loves me. Oh my god. We should be here on the front page after setting everything up, putting your social link in your bank account, etc., 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 etc. It should say investing, but it shouldn't have any sort of money unless you added money to your buying power, which is the first thing that you want to do. Whatever you plan on investing, whether it's 50 to 100 to $1,000, you want to go ahead and click on buying power, and then you want to deposit funds, and go ahead and uh, put the amount. Up to $1,000 should instantly deposit, but it will be taken out of your bank account within like three to five business days because they are slow. But anything more than that is gonna take uh, longer. Now, after you have your buying power and you're all set, you have money, you're ready to go. I recommend that you stay on your field and you invest in whatever you're knowledgeable about. So if you're a computer geek and you know everything about all the new computer parts, all the new technology that's coming out, stick to the technology tech uh, uh, sector as well as if you're a car guru and you know all these car manufacturers, what's going on with cars, this and that, stick to that sector as well. Over the long run, you can broaden your scope. So me personally, I'm into real estate and I'm always on the news seeing what's going on in the world. But for an example, we're just gonna see uh, technology. So when you click on a search bar here, it's gonna give you news and updates as to what's going on in the world, mostly for the big tech companies, because these big companies here uh, control majority of the stock market. So you see Tesla is up 10%. Now for Tesla being up 10%, a lot of other stocks are gonna ride with Tesla. A lot of stocks that are in that same sector, like Nikolai, that's why Nikolai exploded. A lot of you know about that. So we're gonna search AMD. Let's say I'm a fan of that. Okay, so AMD is at $55.93. And underneath the graph, it shows the time frame. So as you can see, day is the price it went today, the weekly price, monthly price, three month price, etc. I like to keep my graphs on the candle lit because not only does it show the price, it shows the volume, which is extremely important if you're trading options or if you're looking to buy into stocks. Of course, I personally don't like to buy into stocks when the volume is too low because that means there is absolutely no interest in it. So it would have to take a miracle for it to completely jump up. It's basically a gamble there. So let's keep that at the candle lit. And before you buy into the stock, you wanna look at the five year range and you wanna see if it's a downtrending stock or an uptrending over the five year course. So since AMD started out at a dollar, probably even less, Look at this five-year graph. Every year it went up about two to three dollars until a huge spike in 2018 jumped up to 24. And ever since then it's been Sayonara. So any logical person would look at this and be like, wow, over the five-year course it has gone up 2000 percent So within another five years, there's a chance it's gonna go up, it's gonna keep going up. And that's sort of what you want to do. If you see, uh, if you're looking to buy into a stock and it has a downtrend over the five year course, you definitely got to know what you're doing and you got to watch out for those unless they're coming out with like an insanely new product that's going to change the world, which rarely ever happens. So after looking at that, you're going to want to go ahead and check out the stocks. I mean, stats. And in the stats, you like to look at the market cap. Okay, so if it's over a billion dollars, it's a well-established large company. If it's under that, it's mid cap. 
profit cap, I believe, is 100 million to 999 million. And then under that would be small cap, which are the more riskier up and coming companies that could either make you a big bank of big bang for your buck or lose you a lot of money. P.E. ratio is price per earnings. You sort of want to have an idea of what it is paying not too don't be too attentive to the P.E. ratio if you're looking to buy into a company for the long run. Basically, the average P.E. ratio should be 20 to 25, and if it's over that, it's usually mean that it is overvalued, and if it's under, it's usually undervalued, but that's not the case for lots of stocks, but that's just something to keep in mind for basis. Now, under that, it's gonna show you the news, what is going on with AMD or the company that you're buying into. If they don't have news here, don't worry because Robinhood is not always updated on the news. That's why you wanna have different sites to look at. That's why I use Market Watch or Yahoo Finance for my news. And under that, we have the analysis rating, which this is not the stock on every brokerage. This is just the uh, the buy, hold, and sell percentage on Robinhood itself. So as you can see, 43% are buying, 48% are holding. That's an insane amount of uh, implied volatility there. As you see, AMD had a huge spike. So of course, people are buying, people are holding, people don't know what to do, but a lot of people are either day trading or selling options on a AMD. So that's why it's a, a little 50-50 there. So, if you have Robinhood Gold, which if you're a beginning investor, you definitely should have Robinhood Gold if you don't want to put a majority of your time into researching the stock. They do that job for you. Morningstar gives it a rating of one star and the fair value for the company is 25. Like I said, the PE ratio was insanely high, so the company is overpriced supposedly according to Morningstar. And then when you scroll all the way to the bottom, it tells you about the company that you're looking at. It tells you what they do, AMD, computing graphics segments, desktop and notebook uh, processors, professional GPUs, etc. If you know AMD, you know what they do. If not, you don't. I currently have uh, AMD Ryzen 7 on my computer, so I know what I'm talking about. Tells you the CEO, the headquarters, where it was founded, and the employees. Okay, so after you got all that information and you are settled on buying into the stock, you're gonna go ahead and click this trade button and you're gonna go ahead and buy. So this is how your screen is gonna look. It's gonna say buy and shares. Now. You're gonna place the number of shares you want. If it's $55.93, you just multiply that, and that equals the estimated cost. So if you want eight shares, it's eight times 55.93, which comes out to 447 and 44 cents. You would click review, and then you would swipe up. I'm not gonna swipe up, because I'm not gonna gamble my money on AMD right now. I'm using this account only for uh, trading options, so. And after you buy into the company, it should show up here under stocks. You would click on it and you would see your position, the number of shares you have, your total return, today's return, your market value, and the diversity of your portfolio. So, quick and easy, simple tip. Now, to unlock options, on this account, I already have it unlocked, but you would click on this personal icon here, and here next to where it says invite friends get free stock, if you scroll to your right, it should give you an option. It's not gonna show up for me, but it should give you an option to sign up for options trading. Please, if you're a beginner, watch uh, a couple of YouTube videos, and before you dive into that, do a little of uh, single-handed investing and a little bit of swing trading before you get into options trading because you want to know what you're doing before playing with that big amount of money. And also, when you buy a stock or anything you do on Robinhood, pay attention to the message board because it would tell you, for example, if the purchase that you put didn't go through and it expired or it canceled. Like I sold a put option on American Airlines and it expired, so I got my money back. It also tells you your dividends that come in, any news that you get. 
like I got a congratulations because my wait is now over for the cash management list and that's pretty much it as simple as that as and one more thing you're gonna wanna have a watch, a watch list of companies that you plan on buying into the future or of companies that control a major sector of what you're looking at. Like I have Bank of America, Wells Fargo, NRZ, AGNC, because banks and real estate go together, so it sort of controls that part of the sector. What happens to the banks affects sort of the real estate. So you gotta keep that in mind as well. And uh, that is pretty much it, people. If you have any more questions, go ahead. Drop it down below in the comment sections. And if you wanna join the Savage Life family, drop that subscribe and uh, smash that like button. On to the next one. Tell me that you love me